Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another one of my Battle Breakers videos where we're going to be looking into my favorite assassin, the Silent Blade. It is unbelievable, just as you guys, everyone out there using my supporter creator code Loka Hansen in the Epic Games Store on the Battle Breakers game. Your support means the world to me. Remember that a portion of sales goes to me when you use my supporter creator code or link. So, Silent Blade, limited kind of hero, I believe I got it in Season 1 crazy its special ability is to stealth increasing its attack by 320 percent for seven turns where it becomes untargetable the cool thing is that whenever one of your other heroes uses a special attack skill that damages or a nature element hero uses any special skill he will backstab opponents that is attack them if you use him as a commander your backstab will hit another random enemy and you will boost up the nature team like crazy. So not only does this dude damage opponents, he damages them for up to 320% attack and he will do it each and every time you use a special ability that damages or a nature element hero uses a special ability. Chain ganking with poison. Chain ganking, absolutely unbelievable crazy paint and on top of that he has survivability when he is in stealth mode he cannot be hit which is pretty crazy pretty silly paints is what it is so in order to get the most out of him you want to use his special ability then he will work his mojo and as you can see he can eviscerate meaning that 320 percent crazy paints damage is enough already but each and every time you can see one of these green rays going towards opponents from him it is because he is attacking and he won't just attack once he will attack twice and if he kills something he will stay in stealth mode for one turn longer my absolute favorite assassin in the game he was my favorite before we got the 1.81.1 version buffs to assassins and poison in the game but now he is unbelievable if you're just jumping into this video like what why are we talking about assassins i decided this weekend is going to be poison slash assassin weekend because we just got the update to the game where poison works in a new way it ignores defense it ignores shields and assassins apply poison by default with their basic attacks meaning that i have a newfound interest in the assassin class and in my last three videos i've been going through the ninja baldrick stonewall that applies poison Venomous Death Maul and Viper that I'm including in my loadout for Forgotten Lands 2211 here as well. But if you have been like following these Assassin slash Poison videos, you will know that things are very, very doable. They were doable just with Viper, they were doable with Viper and with Venomous Death Maul. And the only thing you kind of need to consider now is that on top of the crazy poison we had with those two heroes. We now have free extra poisoning attacks whenever I use a special ability. So going stealth mode now, and if I attack with Viper like that, he's gonna look at that. Dealing two attacks, even attacking the tower. And as I've mentioned before in these videos, towers have very few hit points. So when they have been poisoned, they will die the following turn because they only have 10 hit points. So the amount of damage they take, like you can see, 73,000 is just going to annihilate them completely. Playing with assassins after version 1.81.1 in Battle Breakers is, is amazing. I, was, I wasn't growing tired of the game, don't, don't get me wrong, but I was, I was looking for something new and fun to do besides the like casual grind that most of us really just have on looking into new heroes and the change to poison and assassins is, is amazing. It is so much fun to play with and it completely changes how we can think about completing hard missions. I'm just um, thinking about how I want my cooldowns managed because I want to have my silent blade in stealth mode and I want to have things revived and with auto reviving for a few turns when I enter the next room but anyway what I was <laughs> what I was trying to to say was just that previously we had to rely on armor breaking from heroes such as Vera the Breaker or from archers 
If we wanted to take out big bosses, it was simply close to impossible to spank them down through their defense amount alone. Now that we have this type of poison in the game, now that we have assassins that can truly assassinate even bosses, it is a completely new way to play the game where you don't need to focus your end game playing around uh, Lady Sun or Bear of the Breaker and I really really like that. It opens up the game like crazy for gameplay variety, hero variety, just doing things differently than having one meta kinda group to play with if you wanted to do something challenging. That is amazing but it is also amazing because many of the maps that we are facing are much tougher because we are also facing opponents that have poison we already had a few opponents that were ignoring defense but not that many but now that every single assassin class opponent we're going to be facing are going to be poisoning us and ignoring the defense amount that our heroes have the shield that they have it is it is a completely different game this only changed a little bit in the battle pass grinding maps and in the forgotten lands but I have, I have a feeling we're gonna see crazy as we move into the new season in what do we have like a week left or something it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing but anyway rest up once again and I'm just thinking if I can get like that silent blade into another stealth mode blocking up with mirror and reflection and I could get in a sneak as well then we are completely good to go completely ready for the next room this is it is cake easy and fun at the same time even now when i'm up against fire element heroes opponents they only take like half half damage from me but because poison is so crazy it doesn't matter we can just completely obliterate this map of course we're going to be taking damage we even take double damage but look at the maze hit points it's almost gone i know she's squishy she is a mage but still it is it's pretty cray cray oh yes it is and i do like the cray cray i really like i i love when we are allowed to do funny silly things in games i prefer when they are like controlled a little bit more than the wanderer jai jing and Wolverine and shields player i think that is over the top but having the new assassin changes having things like sugar fur iron monkey it's amazing i love the way they are developing this game to offer like more than one play style for players that, holy freaking moly i'm burning them right back man this is of course mira's powers it, it has nothing to do with with the assassins that we're sending all these powers back in the face of the opponent all right looks like we're gonna hit up a cloud puff like that great and then risk amazing my favorite cloud puff it's always nice to have in the backhand because if you face a close to wipe situation because you just happen to be recording and talking and not being super focused or if you're just unlucky or like I sometimes am really really bad at playing then it's nice to have a backhand res. Oh yes it is. Oh Ridley. It's actually the one hero I don't have is the one we just had before because I keep selecting other heroes in the Battle Breakers legendary system whenever she is up. But next time I'm gonna take it and then I am going to have selected all different evolutions of all heroes that we have in the Skybreaker. And that's gonna be a nice milestone for me to get past. But anyway, this is gonna get fun. This is gonna be fun. So let's move into stealth mode like that and just stop that i wanted another turn obviously i'm playing without stuns which is another kind of fun normally when i play in here i would use a hero like arctic wolf trig or cuddle team leader to control the board to take less damage and also to like complete it faster because the opponents won't be allowed to do anything i think an ideal group in here has one of those heroes probably lifebringer silicia instead of Spirit Column Elfira because she has to be a commander and then you can have the variety but because it's a, because it's Assassin Poison Weekend I kind of wanted to go without that and just focus on on those powers a little bit more just to go completely poison styled crazy because it's fun I, I think it's fun anyway <laughs> you guys put it down there if you if you have other ways of playing the game that you feel are fun synergies groups classes that 
you feel deserve a little bit more shine. I'm really amazed that the Battle Breakers development team are looking into heroes because some of the heroes are just not as efficient as they could be, I feel. Many of them don't like really offer anything exciting. Like spell Souls, have you ever used their like basic attack extra ability to boost a little bit up? It's not something I've ever been needing in the game. Uh, we have some that ignore reflex uh, defense, that's kind of nice, you can't dodge it. We have some that kind of make the opponent unable to use their reflex attack so they can't crit and stuff like that. But it, it doesn't really really pack any like punch compared to what we have with archers and now assassins. The power these two bring to the table is unbelievable. Even mages that give a little bit of mana. I mean, if it had been mana to all heroes every turn, let's talk about it, but a little bit of mana to a random ally, I don't feel it is anywhere as powerful as what we have now with the assassins and that we also have with the armor-breaking archers. But Gabriel about to go down, and every time we do anything with these heroes, we're just gonna be getting freebie eviseratable attacks from Silent Blade, like I said. My favorite assassin in the game that can just go absolutely bonkers with these attacks. And of course he he synergizes well with Night Slayer Kendrick and a few other heroes that also attack based on crits or other heroes attacks. But right now he is here because he is an assassin that deals poison with his basic attacks. And you can make him attack whenever you use an ability from another hero, making it the uh, cool fun and amazing anyway guys that was what i had to share in this video i hope you enjoyed as always thank you very much for watching liking subscribing commenting sharing joining my channel the amount of support you guys are showing me is beyond amazing it um it really means a lot to me it makes me super happy every day i log in to see new comments subscriptions people that have been sharing my videos on the social platforms they use i am i'm just simply deeply honored about it for now guys, thank you very much and very much for watching.